Hey, so it's like March 21st. This is the first time we're going in the hives. This looks to be a dead out. So this was a nuke we, we tried to overwinter. Unfortunately, late in the uh, early fall, there was a really bad flood. It tipped over. And then uh, at one other point, there was a really bad storm this winter and it had been knocked, knocked over. And then it was like off center. So poor bees, they were facing some serious cold and uh it's not looking too good we've seen some bees going in and out but i mean i think that's just purely robbing but who knows maybe we'll be surprised why don't we just take this box off completely all right i saw some chewed out things so i thought that might be interesting to look at but i guess we'll just looks like some frames are stuck underneath let's pull it straight up uh you got four frames <laughs> stuck under key. Well, just I'm go ahead and put take, it on the ground. I'm just going to take both boxes off. <clears throat> Look at this. Is it a cluster of bees? I don't know. I mean, yeah, but... This is a uh, classic sign that they froze to death. Oh man. They were all, looks like they were all huddled together. What is this, just from robbing? What's all this chewed out material? Yeah, robbing from the top. So it just has been falling on top of Aww, them. Oh, poor girls. Pop that off for me. Yeah. Get a close up of that. There weren't very many of them. Oh, there's the big cluster. So, hard to see this. Maybe I can angle this box. No. Tough to see with the shadows, but when you see cl cl clustered clumps of dead bees, you know what happened. They, uh, they froze. So, Aww. Cluster there. Looks like the cluster was about three frames wide, which isn't overly small, but like I had said, when the, these girls unfortunately were dealing with extra cold because their the box had fallen yeah. apart. So if we are to if we were to dig through this, we would find most likely find a queen in the center of all this. And look, they're molding. It's mold. Yeah, that's what happens. Wow. So what do we freeze these? We dump this out and freeze the frames. Yeah, we'll freeze the frames and then the, the bees will. When we put them in another, let me use this again. Use these again. Bees will clean it all up. Oh wow, there's a whole other box, which I didn't realize because these cinder blocks are here. So yeah, here's the main cluster. There was a good amount, actually. Yeah. Yeah, this is a this is a decent sized cluster, but you know you get moisture in there, and you get freezing, and this is what happens. So it's just that's like go ahead and pull one of those frames up. Yeah. Cluster. Oh, there's the queen. Oh, there she is. You can see a little faint green dot right there. Can you hold it this way? Yeah. Right there she is. In the center of all the cluster. Oh, our 
beloved queen. <laughs> there she is. There's, there's her majesty. Rest in peace. Really sad. Look, this is like a little heart. Yeah. All right, I guess we'll dump them in the compost. Yeah, let's dump them in the compost. So, I mean, the lesson here is... Oh, wow, look at all these at the bottom. The too. lesson here is just, you gotta, you gotta make sure your hives are in good shape. And you gotta secure them. This was a, I think we had four, four, let's see, one, two, three. Four boxes. Four boxes. Uh, and they were able to get knocked over in the wind in a storm and then knocked over in a flood. So, you know, you got to secure the boxes, but luckily looking at the yard right now, this is the only, the only hive that's looking to be a, a dead out, knock on wood. One other one that looks a little weak over there, but bees bringing in pollen, which is good. So we'll get this cleaned up. We'll freeze these frames and we'll use it again. And these, all these girls hard work won't, you know, won't go to waste. Sorry, Kara. <laughs>